Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today we're again in my craft room. I guess March Madness this year is going to be crafts. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I really hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, let me know in the comments. Also, if there's a certain card or a certain craft or a certain type of video, if you're like, can you just bring us a clean with me? Whatever. Let me know. All right, so for today, I am going to bring with you a haul. Bring with you. Bring to you coffee. <laughs> mm. I have that Irish cream, um, International Delights Irish cream. Mm. All right, so I have a Tuesday morning by me, and as I've told you before, they're closing. The two locations that I usually hit are both closing. Broke my heart because it's a great place to pick up cheap craft supplies. So I've got some things that I've been staring at, and, you know, it was 10% off, and I was like, well, I could wait till it gets, you know, further marked down because they just marked everything up like in January. I guess I'm anticipating that they would close so that, you know, when they do the 20% off, they really aren't losing that much. I guess the store is going into bankruptcy. I don't know. But, um, I've been looking at these few items, you know, for a good month, month and a half now. And as each time I go in there, they are pulling all of the items closer to the door. As more stuff is getting sold, they're just kind of condensing it. And one small aisle of crafting items. And I, you know, I sat and thought and thought and thought. 20% off, not really that great. But if I continue to wait, will it still be here? These are things that I'd really like to have, but I'm trying not to spend money. The whole battle, people. So I bit the bullet and got everyone that I wanted. Um, and let's just look. So... Um, I've tried different crafts in the past year. I've tried the junk journaling, you know, occasionally I'll just do, um, Cricut stuff. But the one that is really stuck with me that I'm enjoying the most that actually surprised me is card making. I'm loving it. So, I decided to go in and grab all of the different cards stamps and die sets that I had been looking at but not yet picked up because I was worried that I would miss out. Um, I pulled the price off of this because I couldn't see what was underneath here. Um, you can also just open it and pull it out. <sighs> Whatever. So this one is uh, by Hero Arts, and it's a little under the sea theme. I got it mainly for this, because this is a um, scuba diving, old scuba diving set that was used in the Navy. And it just makes me think, this helmet always makes me think of my son in his submarine. And... You know, you're treasured, you're the pearl of the sea, I've searched for the seven seas for you. you know, just cute sayings, cute little mermaid held by him, bubbles. I, I mean, just, yeah, the world is your oyster. I can make some really cute cards with that. So, I definitely picked that up. This one, I kept going back and forth on because, I, I mean... A dog laying out but I like the other ones and I really like this umbrella because this umbrella can be used for the springtime in like a rainy day type of card 
these can be summertime waves, you know, sunglasses. No time for shade. Just the dog. They're just just the dog, just the part that gets me. But it came with the dies for $7.49. Also, you know, just great price. This is also by Hero Arts. So I picked that up. I picked this up because I wanted to try and make something like this. I just think these kind of patterns are really cool. It was $7.49. It comes with two dies um, where you can make these different um, designs with them. So I picked that up. All of this was 20% off too. Sorry, my battery died. All right. So then um, I bought this one because I really don't have a birthday one, do I? I think I have the word happy birthday or the words happy birthday. But this came with an embossing folder and stamps for $3.29. So... I picked it up. Uh, it's by Momenta. Never heard of them. So it comes with, it's your special day, celebrate, cheers, cute little balloons, and then this embossing folder, which is very festive. So that's fun. My allergies are wrecked between the trees blooming one day and cleaning my house and kicking up cat fur. It's just, it's bad. This one was the hardest one for me to purchase, but the one that I wanted the most. Sixteen flipping ninety nine. <sighs> but it's so cute. The little frog on the books. Just darling. And it comes with coordinating dies. So I said, you know what? I'm going to be really angry with myself if I don't get this. And this is um, the same type of set that I got, that dog set that has the, the matching dies. I got it from Tuesday morning as well. I don't think it was any $16.99. As you see, it's got a, a sticker over it so I can see what it used to be before they marked it up in December of 2022 because it says 1222 right there it was 14.99 originally so they marked it up to Dallas and I probably saw it in there for $14.99 and said, I'm not paying any $14.99. Well, guess what I paid for it? Probably $14.99 with 20% off. <sighs> so anyway. Actually. Oh, I got $3.40 off. Yeah. So it was about $12.60. Okay, well, that's a good price. All right, so all of that to say, I was going through my stamps and my dies yesterday when I was cleaning my area and putting everything away. And let me show you what I did. So this is what I did yesterday when I was putting all of my stamps and dies away and ended up reorganizing the whole thing. So, let's just start here. In here, I put everything nature. I put rainbows, butterflies, birds, plants. I don't know why. I must have missed this because he doesn't go in there. Um, but yeah, flowers, everything to do with nature went into there. 
everything home and health and whatever is going to go in here. This is my little pill bottle and chicky. All of my shapes are in here. So I have all of my circles. Um, all of my edges. My hearts. My squares that will fit into here. Everything like that into here. Then I have all of my animals in here, which I don't have all of them in here. I'll have to look for the other parts of it. But, you know, I was just basically kind of throwing it in there just to get it somewhat organized and figure out if this is what I wanted to do. So, have animals in here. This is all Christmas and winter. And these are all words. So I have winter, animals, words, shapes, health and wellness, people, stuff, um, nature. So then I thought, well, you know what I need to do? Because what I had done originally is gone through my stamps a while ago and just stamped them all colored them all and had some sort of visual to look at but I was putting it down in these boxes and it's hard to see when your boxes are getting full of dyes so I have my words and I have you know my little stars there my edges some sunglasses travel edges all of this right so, I figured, why don't I create a book that I can take each one of my dies and cut out a piece, of, you know, that die, stamp all of my words, all of my things, cut them out if they don't have a die, and create a book where I can say, all right, I want to make a get well card for a teacher and, you know, something. So I thought I could break it up spring, summer, fall, winter, shapes, Oh, I haven't put these pages in. And then words. And I can make extras if I need to. But I was going to take, like, let's just start with summer. I was going to take... That might be words. I was going to take all of these little things that I have cut out and just paste them on here. And that way I can come back and look through my book and say, what do I have for like a summer theme to do a summer card? Right? What do I have for a Christmas theme to do a Christmas card? What do I have, you know. So I have five pages of this lighter card stock to put these on. Um, because I know that my collection is going to grow as I'm waiting for a couple of things to come in the mail. Because y'all, I'm addicted to making cards. <laughs> So, I think I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. Um, I don't know how OCD I'm going to be. If I'm going to do, oh, these are all summer fruits. These are all summer swimming things. These are all summer clothes. You know, we really hope 
that I don't do that, but we just can't be sure. So what I'm going to do is um, get a piece of paper and we will start coloring or stamping and coloring my new stamps that I have and die cutting those out. And we're just going to do prep work for my visual book. Um, and what's funny, you know where I got this idea from, from my favorite YouTuber, Crafty Girl. Um, she does a visual book for her, all the books she reads. She loves to read books. Lord knows I can't wait to read some books other than educational. Um, anyway, she, no, sir, you may not. No bark. I, um, she has a visual book that she does for all of her books that she reads. And so she has created a system where she tracks, you know, how many stars the book is and is it spicy and good because she likes romance. Is it spicy or is it dull and the main characters, are they good, and who are they, and like a brief synopsis of the book. I mean, just awesomeness, right? And I was watching her last night talking about her tabs that her mom sent her. Thank you to her mom, because I have a pack here, and I'm like, I'm going to get some more packs, and I'm going to send them to her. I can't find them either. I can't find them either, Marie. She doesn't watch my channel. She doesn't have any idea who I am. But that's all right. Um, but yeah, her mom sent her some new tabs because she does a tab and she does her book themes like romance, hockey, mystery, whatever. Um, and I thought, oh my goodness, I could completely do that with my stamps. So yeah, I'm really excited. <clears throat> Allergies, sorry. Really excited. Hope this helps. Because, you know, picking up something like this and going, what do I have? So, when I get back here to shapes and I put all of these in here, and then when I have this up like this, you know, it doesn't. Sometimes they don't close. I'm going to put shapes, you know, on here so when I pull it out, I can know that that's where I want to go to. As my die set collection grows, I may have to come up with another solution for those. But for right now, it's working. And we're happy about it. So, let me just finish cutting these out. Because, you know, I started and I can't stop till I'm done. I think this set right here that I'm cutting out right now is from the dollar store. Really cute Valentine's set. Really, really cute. We just need some more die cuts from the dollar store. Man, that'd be cool if they did die cuts and stamps. My goodness. I would go broke in the dollar store. Oh, yeah. All right. You make me so, so happy. Alright, so I'm going to put these back, and then I'm going to take my new stamp set, and we will stamp those, color those, die cut those, and prep those to go into my book. And then I will break away and put them all in my book, because nobody wants to see that OCD battle. And then when I've got the book all put together, that's how we'll end the video. So I'll be back. All right, so I'm going to start by taking everything out of the packaging. 
just darling. Get my pressing tool. So these would go, obviously, I guess, under summer. Because you think of the ocean and all of that. In the summertime. So... Hands on it again. So, oh, I don't know if you can see the little pricklies, but I definitely have pieces trying to come off. going to stamp it again right there in that middle seems to not want to pick it up maybe I didn't put enough on there which is fine just fine Still did not want to pick it up. There we go. Sorry I'm hitting the camera. Probably some of them are thicker than others and that's why I'm not, I'm having to press a little harder on some of them. Oh! So... Coyote. Just darling. All right, so I'm going to take all of these off, clean them, put them away, take this off, and then we'll color. Now to do her higher. <clears throat> e. O five O. Oh. 
Oops, she got a little starfish in her hair. Didn't see that. Anybody remember when I said I wasn't going to be perfectionist? Alright, so I have all of these taped down. Now I'm going to run them through my Gemini. Pretty cute. Pretty darn cute. Even though it's a dog, but whatever. Dog is apparently an alcoholic, unless these are puppy juices, and I guess it's okay. So, this one helps me to know to put my words separately, even though they're on one stamp set, because like, the world is your oyster. I can pretty much, I think I'll be able to figure out which stamp set that goes with. So, I am going to go and put this book together, and I will be back in a probably a good couple of hours at least. Um, maybe I'll try and get like one page done at least in each section. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, I shall return. All right, so we have a random spoon. Um, why do I have, oh, probably from my coffee. Anyway, many, many hours later, after seven o'clock, late getting the video out, because I spent many, many hours in this book. Um, I've washed my hands a hundred times and they're just black with ink. It's not, perfect because I got tired of doing it and I'm not really finished with it but I'm going to go through what I've got for the summer we did this page this is what kind of what I wanted every page to look like so this is where it gets kind of messy because I was so sick I had no idea I had this many words anyway I have at least 15 versions of happy birthday it's ridiculous but I just took every single word that I had and put it on here and you see I was getting sloppy because I was so tired of doing it then I laminated it on the back I have more words over here I have words like best wishes 
you know, all of that. And these are ones that I had cut out, but this laminate is not quite as tight around, around this. So I don't know if I will raise them up like that. But I mean, that's just, that's ridiculous. I have that amount of words. Uh, and the shapes, I only did a couple, the hearts and this, just because it was near me. But that is all I have done. That's about all I have on this book so far. That's all I'm doing for this video. I know it's kind of crazy, but you know, look at who your channel, the channel you're watching. Um, anyway, I hope that you guys have a wonderful Saturday evening. Thanks for joining me for day six of March Madness. Sorry, I've got a headache. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the very last day of March Madness. Bye, guys.